This takes us to the next section of the song, uh, bar 17, uh, where we introduce some chords and some strumming. Uh, same rhythms as we played before, so let's have a look uh, at this part now. So we get uh, bar 17, A and E, one and two and three, four. Uh, I'm using finger four here for my D, uh, one, two. And then I put finger one on a G sharp as well. So I get a G sharp, D, E strum. Let me just play that part again. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so now we get a little bit of repeat, um, but with an E bass. One and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. So we ended up with a C sharp there with an A bass, put finger one down, little thumb strum, three, four. Uh, the next part, bar 21, uh, we've got an A bass again, one and two and three, four, D with an F sharp and then goes fingers two, uh, fingers three and one to form a D major chord. So we've got a finger one on an A, finger three, on a D and finger two on F sharp, but all down together to form a little D major chord. So that part goes uh, one, two, three, four, uh, and then we get uh, this one I've been calling the tricky bar. Um, one, two, and three, and four, one. Okay, and then we put finger three down here to get E, C sharp, A. So just I'll play that section again a little bit slower with the count to help us. One and two and three four. One two three four. One and two and three four. One two three four. One and two and three four. One two three four. One two and three and four. One two and three four. DC uh, means del capo, go back to the beginning and at the symbol, which is at the end of bar 16, you go to the coda. So basically you repeat most of the song uh, again from the beginning. Uh, I won't do that here now to keep the video uh, length a bit shorter. Um, so we'll take it that we've gone back to the beginning um, and uh, I'll take it from bar 13 uh, and then we'll go to that symbol and then to the coda. Three, four, one and two and three, four, two, three, four, one, two and three and four, two and three, four to the coda. It's a repeat, but now getting quieter. One, two and three and four. ended up with finger two but we don't want to end up with finger two there we want to end up with finger one one two and three and four one. okay so quiet there now finger four stretches to high a fret five i'm going to use i and a on my right hand two and three and then i introduce my a bass as well so we've ended up with one two and three four and you can see we've got double F, fortissimo, with sub subuto, uh, suddenly loud. So we end up with this. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, four. Okay, so a nice flamboyant ending to the song. Uh, try to implement that diminuendo across the last line. It really does add some nice effect to it. Um, and uh, just follow the structure of the song. Uh, if you're new to DC, Del Capas just means back to the beginning, go all the way to that symbol at the end of bar 16, and then jump to the last line, uh, and just put all the dynamic effects in uh, to make the song sound good. So, I hope you enjoyed um, Calypso, and uh, good luck with that song. <laughs>